Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by Hey guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Regina. Thank you guys for coming back to see what I am doing guys. I am just living life. That is all. So today is um, Friday the 13th guys. But you know what? We just believe in, in uh, always blessed luck. Good luck. We not, you know, we not believe in for no bad luck. Anyway guys, today is Friday the 13th. I am off work guys. I just finished making a little bit of dinner for myself and I thought I'd come on here and jump on a video and say, you know, to say what's up and chit chat with you guys and give you guys an update on what I have been doing and what I'm planning on doing for uh, the month of January. If you're interested in seeing that guys, um, please continue to watch. Anyway, guys, <laughs> anyway, um, so I know you've seen in other videos, I started juicing and so far guys, I really love it. I really love it. And I think I love the green juices more than the, um, fruit juices. I did a mixture of both of the juices with uh, one of my last batches and I don't think I like that. I'd rather have it separate. I like to have my uh, green juices which I love and guys they work very well for me you know to just do a cleansing in my body and then the um, fruit juices they help satisfy uh, um, sugar cravings that I have and you know I know that I'm going to be careful with them because even though it's good sugar and it's sugar from fruit it's still a sugar so um so I'm going to be very careful on uh, how much of that I'm um, juicing the last juice on one of my last videos I think I did an all green juice and now I'm going to do a fruit juice um, maybe sometime this weekend I'm, I'm watching Miko. Anyway, guys, um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a fruit juice probably sometime this weekend. Um, my guy is coming, guys, to put up my um, ceiling uh, lights in the living room and in the my bedroom. And I need to show you guys what what is presently up. I need to do a before and after. So... Um, so I'm going to do that and what else I need to do guys tomorrow I have an appointment for evaluation at a um, beauty spa I found one that's located not too far from where I live at and so I'm going to be going in there for a consultation they do um, IV drips for hydration and for vitamins I'm interested in, in that of course they do facials and they do some body treatment. I think they do some cupping of your body. They do some of that. And guys, it is a black owned company. So pretty much, hopefully when we see this video, it might be, uh, we might be in February or close to it anyway. So yeah, it's a black owned company. Uh, with nurses and nurse practitioners working there. So I have that appointment early tomorrow, guys. So I have to get up. I have to get up to get that done. And then, okay, so my juicing, I love it. I will continue doing that. Um, my exercising, guys, I am so excited. I did four days. I was cons I did four days this week, guys. I haven't did. I have not been consistent in doing four days of working out for quite some time because you know I have some issues with my back. And actually, you know, working out and after I work out, I do I do some stretching also. And I think I should already have a video that's out that's showing you me trying to get it started guys you know um, I can't just say I, I want to do this I really need to do this and I need to get it together um so yeah so my back is actually feeling much better because every time I exercise I take some time to stretch my back and my hamstring guys 
because for me, I notice that if my hamstrings are tight, my back start acting up. So I've been doing that. And so far, guys, that has been working wonderful, wonderfully for me. My back is feeling much better. So because, guys, my goal, one of my goals is to get back into the gym this year. And, um, and I want to be able to know that I can tolerate that, you know, without having too much issues with my back. I'm going to have to make some adjustments on some of the exercises that I like to do to not to try to put too much strain on my um, lower back. And it's my lower back primarily on my right side of my back. But I'm going to have to modify some of my exercises. And um, so I'm, I'm really happy about that right there. Um, so that's the juicing. That's the dieting. I'm slowly making changes in my diet also, guys. Um, um, because I need, um, you know, one of my downfall, guys, is sugar. Um, I like, you know, chocolate candies and, and cakes and whatever. And, um rice and pasta okay guys before i um dismount my um setup right now to show you the fans i thought i'll show you some of the packages i have but guys uh, we're gonna start with a rant <laughs> you know what sometimes these places that deliver your packages amazon um uh fedex um, I'm calling them all out because they all do it. Yeah. Guys, now, why well, I get a package and the guy handed it to me. So the package, package came today. Guys, look at the package. Look at the package. Okay? Open. Open. You can, you can see what's in there. And when he hand me the box, he hand me the box this way. He hand me the box this way like that. So, of course, nothing is wrong with this way. And he was carrying other boxes here. But he handed it to me there. And then when I, I get it, he handed it to me and I get it and it's open. Fortunately, it is actually a, a gift for my job. I They gave us the option to pick some stuff. So I picked this blanket that I'll be putting in my car um, to use. But guys... They all do it. They they really do. They look and they see what you're doing and stuff. They <laughs> okay, guys. Enough <laughs> enough of my rant. <laughs> enough of my rant. So I'm just gonna open up a cute a few packages. Um, I got packages from Amazon. Um, from a company called Spoil Child and another company i'll let you guys know when i open it um so let's just let's just open it so and try not to show my address so this is a package from amazon and i believe it's a book that i ordered my aunt told me to order this book it's one race one blood and it is um a book my aunt recommended it's a uh, the biblical answer to racism. Okay, so she told me I should read this. So, and it's by Ken Ham and Charles Ware. So one race, one blood. So I'm looking forward to reading this right here. Okay, guys, I don't know what is in these Amazon packages. I've ordered stuff at different time, and then you know they put stuff one thing at a time sometimes in packages so let's see what's in here i brought some lithium batteries for my microphone on my uh for my camera guys i am loving the um tripods that my grandson and his mother brought me i really like them so <laughs> i got a couple of boxes of those oh i have some leopard printed um lace uh wig um to lay down the edges so i brought these and oh i got some like generic um 
lip oil. Let me show you guys. So I got lip oil from RK by Kiss. And these are hydrating lip oils. They have it in coconut. Let me see guys because this light is in coconut. Um, this is cannabis sativa seed oil. And, and then this is like a ruby kiss and this is a clear. I don't know how well you can see. Okay, I just did my light, so it's like a clear, clear um, lip oil. So it's a lip oil and it has this little applicator to it. And let me squeeze just a little out. I don't know if you can see it, guys. But it's a little lip oil. It smells a little bit like peppermint. Guys, you know it's the winter time, so I get dry lips. Okay, guys, I have another Amazon packaging here. Let me see what is it. Because like I said, I ordered stuff, guys. I had some of these packages just sitting by my um, door. But since I'm having somebody come to do some work, guys, sometimes it's not good to always be leaving packages around for people that's coming in and out of your house to look at because then they start making assumption about you know what you can and cannot afford you know so you don't even need to give them no ammunition and have them looking oh this is a door draft guys i have um the guy put the storm door on there's a little bit of opening and i can see bugs crawling underneath that and coming into the house so I'm going to be putting this on soon. Mm, I don't know what this is. Oh, I brought a pair, a new pair of slippers, guys. The ones that I wear now has uh, seen better days. <laughs> okay, so let me take them out. And I think I got them in black. And they buy a maker called Design original i will try to link some of the things that i have from amazon down in the description box below and okay they're from home top mic memory foam and shop shock absorption so here is what they are are just a plain pair of black slippers look kind of like furry and yeah, they got some extra padding in the foot, guys. Ooh, I like that. And then a little grip at the bottom. All right, guys, so the next package, guys, I was telling you about the place where um, I um, get my um, sea moss from. I put her name below, Donatella Foods on Instagram. I like her sea moss. And um, yeah, I did make some sea moss, guys. And I've been using it in like um, oatmeal. I've been using it in um, hot teas. So um, I need to, and I think I even put some in my one of my green smoothies. I put some of it in. So I'm trying to get through that, guys. But yeah, I, I purchased um, some more of her um, sea moss because I was running low. Look at her packaging, guys. The packaging is good. So she gave me a little sample of, it says, lavender body oil. Ooh, that's nice. I guess there's a little thank you. It's a small little container, guys. And... Oh, it smells good. That is nice. And then I like her green packaging. And on the inside, she has the styrofoam. So, you know, keeping it well packaged. And I got... Oh, 
cold. I got a big box, a bag of pussy moss, and guys, it's, it is full. Stuff to the brim, I love that. It's wild crafted Caribbean sea moss. And I got this is eight ounces. And yeah. So I like guys, it is it is stuffed. I love it. And then I I got a wooden um, soap dish. As you can see it. Wooden soap dish. All size of their deodorant. And that was three dollars for this. And guys, it comes in a little container. Guys, it is tiny. I have tried natural soaps before. Um I have a funny body, guys. My body doesn't like any deodorant uh, for a long time. I have to constantly, you know, change my deodorants up um, because after a little while, it's like my body get adjusted to it and my body do not, uh, it, it doesn't work for me. So I tend to jump around to different um, products and I have used um, natural deodorant, small little container. And guys, this looks like it's black. It's like, you can see the cut. It's like a dark, dark gray. Oh, it has a nice smell to it. Okay. I just put a little bit on my finger. I, I doubt if you'd be able to see that. And she gave so a little trial size, and then she gives it a little scooper so you can scoop it out. So I'll give it. It's nice and silky too. I like it. So I'm gonna give it a try, but I'm gonna give it a try on a day that I'm not doing much and I'm mostly home because you need to see how this works. Don't want to be in public and it's not working. And last but not least is a product that I got from a company called Spoil Child. I saw this on Instagram. Instagram made me buy it, guys. Instagram made me buy it. And, you know, I'm just trying to incorporate some healthy things in my diet. And it's the Spoil Child Extra Strength Liquid Collagen. Here is here is the container guys spoiled uh child and it says use daily it's there like i said um extra strength liquid collagen guys um let's look at the ingredients it says one tablespoon and it had and you have 33 servings out of here i'll give you a up this sorry guy this guys i will give you an update on how that works Anyway, okay guys, so here is the ceiling fan in the um, living room. It's a fan. Um, it doesn't actually have lights on it. It is semi-mounted. And like I said, my ceilings are not that high. So this sticks down too much. It looks like it's brand new, but it's, and it's not, you know, the um, uh, decor that I want in this room. And here is the fan in my bedroom. This one is actually a light. Uh, it is flush mounted to the wall, but all the rest of it, the blades and this white light, you know, fixture right here, it doesn't work for the, the room, so. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day, Saturday. I am getting prepared to go. I told you I had an appointment uh, this morning to get a consultation for some services we're gonna see what I might be interested in at this um, new place I'm going to so I'm going to try to take you guys with me and then as soon as I come back my guy for the the change the light fixtures ceiling uh, fixtures he should be here today so
guys. So now here's the light fixture for in here. Guys, already removing that big fan has made the ceiling height look like it's much more taller and it just opened this whole room up to make it look so much bigger okay and the one in my bedroom has changed and like i said it, it, with the other room it makes the room look bigger this size right here is i think it's okay for this room right here hey guys it's a little bit uh later on in the day I'm about to um, at least call this day over with as far as filming anything. I need to work on some content for you, content for you guys. Anyway, so. my experience at the um, beauty spa, it was a very nice place. You can tell it's a up and coming um, business. Um, black owned guys, black owned. And um, they uh, have nurses, and a nurse practitioner and nurses that provide the services at their facility. So guys, here is what the light, wait a minute, let me get back a little bit. This is what the lights are looking like now. Okay guys, so the next thing on the agenda for the living room is the fireplace. Um, my handyman and I, we were talking about it and I was trying to ask him what did I think it was a good option. At first he was like, paint it. I was like, yes. I said, it looks old fashioned to me. And because of the way that I'm trying to do the decor in this house, guy, this house is already an older house. So some things need to be updated. Eventually I want, well, let me tell you guys this. What do you guys think? Okay, eventually I want the whole house painted on white. You know, maybe a different color white, white on top and maybe another lighter color at the bottom. And I was talking to this with my guy. He said he could do it for me. So I want, I'm going to eventually paint the living room white. So given that knowledge, what do you think I should do with the fireplace? Should I whitewash it? And whitewashing is where you um, dilute the color of the paint and you you want you paint it with that and then maybe you tap off a little bit. So you could still see some of the brick coming through. Or should I just paint the fireplace all white? And there are various shades of white because I could do a brown white, you know, something with a little brown or yellow in it. So I haven't decided on that. And then, or should I do it maybe a very light cream? Very, very light cream color. So, you know, it, it looks like it could be white, but not so sure. I need to go get some swatches, guys. I do have some paint from the door, so I could use that paint. Guys, oh, oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. Guess what, guys? Guess what? I believe it was either the video before this one. Or maybe the one before that. I made a hundred videos. Yeah, I got a hundred videos in, guys. Now, if you look at my line, it might say 107. But remember, in another video, I told you guys that I used to do videos way back when. Maybe like five years ago. And um, so I do still have those videos. I'm going to have to pull one out and show you guys. <laughs> I used to do wig reviews. So, uh, so, so I made a hundred videos. Hey guys. Um, good morning. It's about 1030, not, not quite 1030 in the morning on a Sunday. You know, today is my Wusa. But I have to take Miko to get his comprehensive um, examination. So, um, so that's why I am up. So not much traffic out here today. And um, and while I'm down here, I think I need to go to Home Depot. And I might just stop through Kirkland just to see what they have. Okay, guys, I have dropped Miko off. And um, so I'm about to drive to Home Depot. I 
there's a Kirkland around there. And I need to go to a Pet Smart or a Pet Co or something like that to see if Miko if they have any kind of um anxiety um herbal stuff. He doesn't need prescription, just herbal and maybe just calm him down cuz he he performs, girl. He performs when I drop him off at the vet, the groomer, uh my grandson's house. And even when I leave him home. So, you know. So, I think I'm about to do that. Anyway, guys, I'll pick up the camera later. Hey guys, it's a little bit later on in the day. Um, Miko did well at his exam. Miko does have allergies. I believe it's to grass and he gets an injection for that. And then um, he also gets ear aches and he has some drops to that. So, but other than wise, he lost some weight. <laughs> so he is like 10 pounds. The doctor want him to be at eight. I told her I will work on it. So, <laughs> so other than that, I went to Home Goods. Excuse me, guys. I went to Home Depot, Kirkland's, and then I went to Pet Smart. So, oh, so I told you guys I was trying to get something for Miko anxiety. So I found these calming shoes from Centria. And for Miko weight, he only gets one. And it has chamomile in and it. And I got a leash for Miko. A little blue leash. Got a little, look like leather. Um, hopefully this fits him. It goes to less than thir uh, thir 14 inch neck to a 20 inch neck. So hopefully I'll be able to adjust this. Because Miko really needs to wear his... Um, leash in it and he doesn't um uh, from kirkland guys 
like I wasn't intending to go there to get anything, but I did. <laughs> um, I got this um, sugar lemon um, reed diffuser. Guys, I smelled this. This is real. This really smelled good. Guys, I have a thing about uh, smells in my house. I like for it to smell good. So this is what it looks. You, you look like you get a lot of this too. And guys, I got two new bases. Let me just open them up so that I can show you. I have no idea where I'm going to put them, but I like them. So I picked them up. And it's these two guys. I might have to take a separate video so you can see it. And I'll probably insert it next to this. But they are like cream and with black specks. And I got two sizes. They even had one that was bigger than that. But I thought these two sizes was perfect. And the small one was... $12.99 and the bigger one was $19.99 and I believe they was having the 15% off. I don't have the I don't have the receipt, but I believe it was 15% off of that. And I also brought something and it is in the kitchen. I mean, excuse me, it's in the living room. I'll show you that guys later. And then from Home Depot. I picked up three colors and a couple of brushes. I picked up a brush set like this. It comes with one big one and two small ones. And then I picked up two extra ones. And this is supposed to be for very rough surfaces. So since I'm doing the chimney, I thought I'll get I pick up these brushes. Um, I need to be doing a um uh, squat, uh, uh, put a, a little sample of each. I probably won't do it today, guys, because I am tired. But I picked up the color um, Danity Lace. And I believe this is a white paint. But guys, I'm going to have to show you the, it because it, I, I don't think it's going to pick up here on the camera. But this one is called Danity Lace. And this one is Spanish Sand. And this one is Marvajo White. Oh, so this is the white one. And I believe these two have a little bit more brown in them. So, so we'll do a swatches soon of those guys. I'll show you what I also I, I got from, um, from um, Home Depot. I got some little plants, guys. I'll take a close up with it, but I got this one and I brought the, the plants and then I brought the containers separate, but guys, I like plants. My grandmother had a good, uh, um, green thumb and I always admired her. And then I tried to grow plants myself and they, I would be killing them. And I stopped at this place right here. I've always seen this place to get something to eat, but I never went. So let me unloosen so you can at least see the bag. Al Alpalca. I don't know if you can see it, guy. Alpalca Peruvian charcoal chicken. So I picked up a few little things, some string beans, and they give you a nice amount. I think all of this cost me like maybe like thirty something dollars. And then I got I got some sweet plantain. Let me see. Ooh, they gave me a lot too. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. And then I got a whole chicken and the guy cut it up for me. So, ooh, it's a lot. Oh, those plantains are good. Right, guys, I forgot that tomorrow is a holiday. 
I, you know what? I was getting myself in my mindset like, you know, let me bring it down. Let me relax. I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm off. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. So, guys, I don't know if I'm going to come back on here. So, let me end the video here. If I think it's not too long uh, when I'm editing, maybe I'll come back. But if not, guys, thank you for coming back to see what I'm get, getting into, guys. I'm just living life. I'm just living life. Um, I'll let you know how I think about the chicken. Maybe I'll put uh, something in the um, clip. And if not, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.